Drew, written by Henry James, is a haunting tale of two children possessed by ghosts being rescued by a nameless nanny. The story opens at a party where ghost stories are being told. Tell us a ghost story, Douglas. Yeah, tell us a ghost story. Douglas. Okay, guys, I got a good one. After being hired by an attractive young bachelor, the nameless nanny goes to Bly House, where she's to care for the man's orphaned niece and nephew. Over the next week, Nameless Nanny meets the children she has to care for, Miles and Flora, who are intelligent and clever children with inhuman beauty. But Miles has been kicked out of school, and we don't know why. Loving the children but hating the situation, Nameless Nanny takes a night walk on the grounds of Bly, only to find a strange man standing on the roof. Dun dun dun. <laughs> She passes this off as only strange until she sees this guy again, watching through the window. She later found out the man's name is Quint. Quint is known for being too free with the children and had recently left Bly. Quint is dead. But what's better than one ghost? Two. One day while out with Flora, the governess sees an apparition of Miss Jessel, the former governess on the other side of the pond. She sees each ghost once more, each time on the stairs. She comes to suspect that the ghosts are in contact with the children. Her suspicions are confirmed when she finds Miles in the yard at night talking to... something. On another occasion, while the governess is in Miles' room, a cold wind blows out the candle, the room starts to shake, and Miles starts inhumanly shrieking. When it all ends, Miles casually states that he blew out the candle. Ah! Ah! What? You've never seen anyone blow out a candle before? At the request of the housekeeper, the governess writes a letter to, the, to their employer only to have it stolen by Miles because he was curious of its contents. <sighs> Though she desperately tries to save them from possession, her attempts fail and she realizes they are lost. During an attempt to get Flora to confess about her ghostly affairs, Flora turns on her governess and is taken from Bly House. While attempting to get Miles to confess, the governess is interrupted by Quint at the window. Upon seeing him, Miles dies in her arms. Miles! You devil! Miles! Corruption of the Innocent is seen through Miles and Flora in their relationships with Miss Jessel and Quint. These two beautiful and innocent children began to act in mischievous and curious ways. The destructiveness of heroism is shown by the governess's many attempts to save her charges from their possession, only to see the destruction of them, her reputation, and her sanity. Forbidden Subjects is a theme that does not fully form until the end of the book, when we are told the reason for Miles' expulsion from his all-male school which was his sexuality. The story also touches on the children's previous caretakers who had inappropriate relationships with the children. The ghosts tend to appear in darkness, and because of this, the governess utilizes candles as a safety blanket. When Miles extinguishes her candle, she begins to feel vulnerable. The written word is shown in many places, and the fact that the story is written down, the governess is not supposed to write her employer a Miles expulsion letter. The written word is taken a sod fact and cannot be denied.
hired by an attractive young bachelor, the nameless Manny arrives at Bly House where she's to care for his niece and nephew. Morgan, niece and nephew. Oh, Morgan! Dang it, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Over the next week, nameless Manny meets the children she used to care for. Name, oh no. <laughs> Shit. Push it real good! What? Tell us a ghost story, Douglas. Yeah, tell us a ghost story. <gasps> I'm not saying anything. Okay, guys, I got a good one. <clears throat> Once upon a time. I missed the button! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Gary bless him. I've gone down to old rock bottom Now I know the love in my heart was true Divine sorrow I thank you for the joy that followed Back then my friend If I only knew It is harder when you love beyond belief But I'm a fool to let you go So this is for you, my love We will never, we will never have a change of mind We belong together We will never, we will never be the worried kind We sing a song Be heaven 